On the left, you can see the Odeon Cinema. That big clock on the right it was Grant's, the jewellers. And that was Allen's departmental store van from Leggett. They had two big stores at Leggett. They had none down in, in, in the town area. That's North Street with the Barclays Bank on the corner. And then there was Burton's and Taylor's, as it was known then. But now it's just Burton's. Ahead of us, you can just see the bridge crossing King Street. On the right there was uh, Bins, the Drapers, uh, Bins Departmental Store, Benefit Shoe Shop, Savills the Record Shop. On the left is Duns the Hatters, selling gents suits and that, all gents clothing. We're now in Queen Street, going up towards the King Street with the Bins on the left and the Post Office was on the right. AJ Wares was a high class departmental store. Didn't sell clothes, but have sold all silverware, chinaware, and kitchenware. It's a very good store to go into, lovely. Everybody wore suits. Back in Kingston, going under the bridge with Dunn's on the left, Hardy's coming up on the right, Hardy's big furniture shop. Uh, they've all gone, that's now um, McDonald's is in there now. We're crossing the cross and you see a man in a black suit go from left to right. He's what they call the point boy, but sometimes there are men. They were, there he goes. They used to pull the wires on the poles to allow the buses to either go up Fowler Street or along Ocean Road. Like a little railway junction up in the sky there. There are the shops in bottom of Fowler Street, Tonneson's of Pork Butchers, St. Thomas's Church, Harton Dye Works, Cleaners, Conway's The Opticians, and they say nowadays the buses come in threes, but then they come in fours because they couldn't overtake one another because of the poles overhead. They were all controlled by the poles overhead. So at the bottom of Fowler Street. This is bottom of Fowler Street, but um, general media of the shops. St. Thomas's Church. Now, this is a little boy. He forecasts something's going to happen. As his brother goes across, he loses his shoe. Then his brother kindly goes back and gets it for him and gives it to him. How many men do you see riding semi dropped handlebar bicycle smoking a cigarette with a cap like that? Not many. Not today, you don't see them. Poor old souls, don't look, just cross the road. There's an economic bus, one of the best timekeepers in the town. It plied between South Shields and Sunderland along the coast road. That's all it went, nowhere else. Look at the people crossing over there, ignoring all the traffic. That's the Mars on the corner, the turquoise shop with the turquoise fascia, that's Mars, the tobacconist. Up the street there's a station hotel with a yellow fascia, and all the rest is the Royal Hotel, which is still there today. On the right there is a Criterion public house, that's still there. On the left was the Criterion, it was a Scotia pub. There was no trains to Newcastle in these days, but um, there's all buses it was. She's smart. Bit of colour to the film. Every bus had a big abbot on the back for bins. That was an agreement they had with the South Shields um, Transport Authorities. Advertising bins on the back on the top half. Never on the bottom, always on the top half. Go canny man, you, you'll get there in the end. Keep going. We're back in the marketplace again now. Old town hall there. And there's all the stores buzzing with business. I like looking at the prams in them days and today's. The car we're driving in is an Austin Somerset which is an unmarked police car. That's St Hilda's Church in front of us, 
the parish church for the town.